Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Beat and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, what you see on my screen is what we are going to be creating. A very cool design which I believe can be used for Instagram, can be used you know, as a flyer for an event or anything like that. So if this is something you are looking to create, all I can say is stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. All right, so here we are in Canva and what, what did I just say? <laughs> so before we get started into the um, design or we, before we get started with the whole um, designing thing, what I want to say is I want to, to consider upgrading to Canva Pro. The reason is I believe Canva Pro sets you on the path where with any tax, you know, um, a client gives you, you can be able to fulfill it. For example, if let's say you have to create a design and with the photos you are using you have to remove the background of the photo canva pro can sort you out with that i understand there are external tools you know where you can remove the um, background of your photo but the thing is at the end of the day they reduce the quality of your um, images and you wouldn't want that because you wouldn't want to present blurry designs to your client so look this is just one of the things but i just hope um, this alone touches your heart so there's a link in the description box below that can help you get Canva Pro at a cool price and if you're looking to try Canva Pro you can also you know use the same link so let's dive straight into Canva all right so this is the design we are going to be remaking okay so I just click on the plus icon over here and the first thing I did was to come into photos and I search for um, a man in a hoodie okay so if i click on this you can see you can search for young sporty black man running black man runner running on the bridge outside in a city you just type this and i'm very sure you'd get this image okay so we would increase the image okay let me just and uh, move it to the top over here then we would flip okay we'll flip the image then what we are going to do is to duplicate the image so click on the duplicate icon you can see we have this over here oh my goodness okay then we position it just make sure that it's um directly on your image the one behind okay then click on edit image and bg remover which is background remover apparently this is the paid version of remove the bg you understand that's why even after we move the um image we after we remove the background sorry we are still able to maintain the quality of our image so you see that's the thing okay so you can see what i just did i cropped my image then with the background image we come to edit image come to filters click on see all okay scroll all the way down you see street and select that so you can see what we have been able to make right now right so move it to the top over here yeah i think this is cool what we are going to do is to press r on your keyboard and if your r is still on vacation you can come to element in element you see line and shapes choose the square shape okay nice one then just um resize it to how you want it okay and this is how we are going to resize our shape looking very simple and since i want to use the same color code i will use the color picker okay come to the plus color picker and i will choose so this is 311615 and that's the same thing we are using down here you get it if you don't get it forget it <laughs> all right the next thing we are going to do is to add the paper tier so you can still an element you can search for paper tear okay it will give you some ripped papers and um yeah things like that so for example this is a very cool one we can use okay so you can increase the size and you just have to keep adjusting and things like that so that it fits and um just in case you know you don't like the one i have here there are so many options you can choose from you understand so just take your time and all of that but if you want to use what i use there's a link in the description box okay that will lead you to um, a google drive folder where you have so many elements 
okay so i'll show you which one all right so this is what you'd have to search for okay and um just in case you know you search and you don't find it maybe it could be it's also on vacation so you can go to clipads.com and search for this cool paper tear thing okay so you can see how i've been able to crop it i will now increase the size and just place it here so you can see i just place it here you can see how beautiful it's looking you understand yeah okay so now we are going to add some text so i click on t okay and if your t is still you know maybe it's having some lunch what you can do is you can come to text okay and in text you just click on add a heading which would appear right here and your canva can delay like how mine is delaying and it's totally fine it happens so here you can just say pro urban so pro urban okay or you can say urban pro depending on your language <laughs> all right so i position it here duplicate it bring this down duplicate it again i'm using ctrl c but if your ctrl c is also not working you can just click come to the triple dot you see this duplicate icon okay and you can just do that nicely and duplicate and i'll just bring this here okay so now we want to make sure everything is arranged nicely so i select everything and i'll first of all come to position make sure it's centered okay centered then we come to um yeah let's go to position again that's where i wanted to go how come i forgot okay then we just click vertically so that the, the spacing becomes nice okay then select you can leave any of them out but i want to leave the second one out okay and i select all three okay and how i was able to select them all together was click on the first one press and hold shift click on the second one third one fourth one okay then we come into effects in effect we click on hollow beautiful you understand then we select all and come to the triple dot again position and backward so you can see we've been able to send it back all at once and uh, maybe if i want to be skillful you know with this what i'm going to do is i can select the first one okay and uh, maybe this one and i change the color you understand to something like this which is very um cool so now we are going to add some extra text at the bottom over here and that's what i did here so let me just copy this text and uh, if you can hear any noise in the background just pardon me you understand so i believe even with this text i believe this is something you can do very easily just adding separate text okay so i'll just copy and paste here so that we save a lot of time so this text is the same text i used here okay and this is the lighter version of it but um with these texts i actually uploaded them into canva because i'm using canva pro so if you are on the free version of canva you can simply use Montserrat extra bold for this okay so if we come here and i just search for Montserrat, you'll be able to um see you know because Montserrat has various variations of the same um typeface okay so you can just use a lighter version so i think with this Montserrat classic will be the best for this one and this one can take the extra board this can also take the extra board you get it then what i did here was i just copy and let me just use this here i came into element and in element i'll just close this up come to line and shapes c or in c or yeah this is the shape you understand so you just have to resize it and with this when you're resizing it you can see that when you increase the size the thickness becomes more and when you reduce it you know especially from the from the angles you understand so you rather reduce the size from the angles then you can do the stretching and things so that you maintain the same um thickness okay so that's what you can you can do so you can see how mine is looking and make sure everything is centered okay so you can use this nice one then let me just add my text and let me add this one so that with the scan me and stuff i would explain to you more okay so now with this scan me you'll be wondering how i was able to do that canva sort you out on that so if you have a website or let's say there's a link for registration you want people to use you can come to more 
okay and in more you would find the kill our code which i have over here once you start using it it would appear here so here you can add your link and generate code and automatically it generates the code for you okay so i wouldn't do it again because it would also upload it into your uploads here okay let me go all the way to the top it would you know it would also upload it here for you and i don't want a lot of um, things so that's what i did and i added scan in some information here okay so this is what we did now the next thing we are going to do is come into element in element we are going to search for arrow okay and with this i can simply copy and paste but i don't want to copy and paste because i want to show you the exact way i did that okay then we come to graphics in graphics okay just good and there are so many ones you can you can even use this one okay depending on the one you like okay okay so this is the one i used and this is it you get it okay and then i change the color to this red i'm using here because we are trying to stay consistent you understand so i duplicate and i position this one here duplicate again position this one no here it should look natural you understand okay then i think let's duplicate it for the last time and remove it here nice one okay so then we select all of it and group them you understand then you rotate it to negative 90 degrees position it here you understand then duplicate it and bring it here also okay so you can see it's on top so we now bring our paper to the front okay so how to do this is you can simply come to you know just select it come to position and um, you just send it backward with the arrow or click on the paper position and um, there will be to front okay because i've done this that's why i can't select it so that's how you can also do that then i just duplicated it again rotated it to is this zero okay then i moved it to the top over here then i increase the size okay and i move it yeah then i just send it backward so that it looks like this so you can see what we have been able to create so i believe it's similar yeah i think we've done the same thing and um, this is something very cool you can do so yes i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and one tutorial i would want to recommend is this tutorial you see on my screen it has a lot of interesting tips and tricks i would love you to check out and the link also can be found in the description box okay so kindly check it out and um, let me know what you think about it if you have a tutorial in mind you want me to make a video about also let me know in the description box one more thing i would love to say is my website i know a lot of you love to use the template part of it and for some reason it went down so we had to buy a new hosting plan domain name and rebuild the entire website that's why it's down at the moment so the link on my screen right now is the new um url for my website so you can check it out to see what we've been doing so far and then um, all of that you can also support if you want to and um, stuff like that so yes the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity i would see you in my next video